here's the thing about uh, what I was saying about moves like Jagger, and just that it, you know, needs space and whatever. Um, <clears throat> it's a, it's, it just helps us if you follow the, the guitar rhythm, I just it just feel like it moves the song, you know, rather than just uh, doing Running With The Devil or whatever. But I know you changed that. But um, this is what I think you're doing now. I think you're still adding notes that really shouldn't be there. Um, so what a drummer would say is, get off my snare drum, you know? So, um, so the guitar just kind of goes... So it has to be pretty short and staccato. If it's like, if it's just banging, there really is no rhythm to it. So it has to be, so it has to be pretty staccato. And the same with the bass. I think you're adding some of the downbeats. So you're not playing running with the devil, but you're adding those notes over top. So you're playing running with the devil and you're playing like multiple. I think you're doing like, doing like double hits or something but it should just be single hits and uh, there's a lot of other stuff and noises so I think it's like yeah you're going on my on my snare jump you're hit you're doing two hits there I think or there's some kind of noise I don't know if it's when you mute it there's something hitting over top of the snare drum but it's like a wall of sound and usually that's good but especially for funk we don't want a wall of sound there has to be space to make it funky so it should be real short and simple and that just moves the whole song and for a change to not follow the drums you know change and not follow the drums and to play a different rhythm without all the other stuff and double hits and other noise real short and simple and just just watch how that sort of pushes the song you know it's like the uh, the dance monkey you know when you're following the drums it just doesn't, the song just sounds like Run With The Devil. But if you guys, even though I'm not, it's so hard for people to not accent the drums. <laughs> but, you know, once in a while, if you don't accent the kick in the snare drum, it, it helps. So it's just, it's just so resistant for people to not play, the, to not just play the kick in the snare. But that whole song moves better with you guys playing. With you guys playing eight notes over top of, I'm playing quarter notes you know and you guys playing eighth notes pushes the whole song and people dance more is kind of the point um and it would be the same thing with i will survive i know you um you you like to do the uh the cake version but i think we should try to get this point and work on this um to get something funky without tons of noise without the wall of sound like getting back to the funk of it that there should be some space and it needs to be kind of staccato so and i'd like to hear these rhythms the rhythms go offset the drums you know and it's a huge string part we you know we're trying to make more money per person so we don't have 15 people on stage so we don't have a string section so it's up to you guys we have to cover that stuff the best we can so the real bass note accents the string string notes without you when you're playing the cake there is nobody is doing the accents of the song you know it's just not big enough so uh, You know, instead of, it can't like ring and have a whole lot of noise. It needs the space. So just check that out. It's a completely different feel from the wall of bass sound that you're used to with kind of an 18 inch speaker and taking up the whole thing. We want those songs to just be kind of a, you know, calm bass, um, be more in the pocket uh, or, you know, of the sound instead of encompassing the whole stage and the whole song just be one of the four parts that's making it up, you know? Um, so what did I say? Moves Like Jagger Share is the same thing. Real simple, short. And let that clash, let those two rhythms happen together over the top of the drums, just going straight. It, so it sounds pretty cool to have two different rhythms going on. So it's Cher, Moves Like Jagger, I Will Survive. Oh, the other one's Get Lucky, which we don't play much, but that's the I Will Survive. Uh, 
uh, and we don't mind fills and you know whatever. But you know the basic groove has to be a good groove before we have all the crazy stuff added. 